All right, so as you guys have seen, I've been running my new 14900K mostly on DDR4, and I've been using the Z690 Prime here. I originally had it installed on my cryo cooling custom loop over here, but uh, Intel is awesome and has not updated their cryo cooling software to support their new chip yet. So no word on that, no mention of 14th gen on the cryo cooling webpage. When I reached out, I just got a generic response. Same with somebody on my Discord. So I'm not really holding my breath for that, unfortunately. So it will be my SP114 13900K in the cryo cooling setup until they get 14th gen on there. In the meantime, I went into my hardware closet and broke out my old Z790 Hero. I've been neglecting this thing pretty badly as you can see. It's got <laughs> a really thick layer of dust settled on it. Um, but uh, we're gonna make some use of it now. It's too much work to rip apart the Apex setup, so I'm gonna be running on the Hero for a little bit. I've got a kingpin as well, and the 13600K is on that one right now. I'll probably test this on the kingpin in a little bit too, but for now, hero first. For RAM, I have SK Hynix ADI 2x16 gigabyte capacity. These are Team Group T-Force Delta RGB in black. I brought over the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus that I was running in the Z690P setup. That's handling storage and then graphics is the MSI Gaming Trio 4090. So if you're interested in seeing the performance differences of the 14900K on BDI DDR4 versus SK Hynix ADI DDR5 in CS2, go ahead and stick around to see how they stack up against each other.